welcome to Rusty's Roundup. That's the second final sorted. Kev Lee's mounted a valiant effort in the second leg, winning 9-6, but just fell one point short with Jason Mills winning 12-11 on aggregate. And what a comeback in the other semi. Josh Sheridan progresses to the final after producing his best result of the season, bagging five out of six with 16 points. Coming back from 9-6 down in the first leg, winning 22-17 against Alan Terry overall. Congratulations to you both and good luck in the final taking place rounds 47 and 51. Ten players bagged five out of six on Saturday, including Chris Wakefield, who tops his first round of the season with 19 points. Dan Young forgets for the first time, with Martin Preston the only player failing to get anything right. Tuesday night hosts the FA Cup semi-finals. 14th place Graham Watson faces off against 42nd Steve King. These two are separated by 36 points in the league, but this is mainly due to Kingy's tendency to forget to enter, missing six rounds to date. The other semi sees Yuki Archibald, 302 points, go head-to-head -head against fifth place Tony Bagley. Yuki has outscored Tony in the last three rounds. Could there be an upset on the cards? We're aiming for a top prize of 500 quid for the winner of next season's Champions League, with a majority qualifying from this season's tournaments. So far, Lee Fulcher, Peter Fry, Jason Mills and Josh Sheridan have earned their places and they'll be joined by the finalists from the FA Cup and the top 25 from this season's, uh, plus at least one, one wild card from next season's qualifying. So there's still plenty to play for. We're back to a mixed bag with games from the Championship and the Champions League for round 45. Can Chelsea be the first English team to win their first leg in this round of 16? Unlikely looking at their recent form, with only one win in four. In comparison, Bayern Munich are on fire. Now nine without loss in the Bundesliga, scoring 30 goals. The head-to-heads boast a plethora of goals too, with a combined 24 goals from the last five. So there could be loads here. Bayern, 4-2. Both Napoli and Barcelona enter the last 16 unbeaten in the group stage. Napoli were probably in the easier group. That said, are one of the few teams to beat Liverpool this season. Both are in great domestic shape with four wins and one loss apiece. Barca won both pre-season friendlies and should continue in that form. Barca 1-0. Unbeaten at the Hawthorns, West Bromwich Albion host Preston Tuesday night. Although top of the league, the Baggies have had a mixed season where they have fared better on the road. Preston enter this off the back of three away wins, but they were, they were against three of the bottom four. West Brom, 4-2. The Bees travel to Kenilworth Road Tuesday night to face second from bottom Luton. Brentford now unbeaten in their last four on the road should have enough although Luton's form may have turned the corner with two wins on the bounce the reverse fixture saw Brentford win 7-0 could we see that again Brentford 2-1 QPR have a great opportunity to pick up all three points as they host Derby Tuesday night the Rams have struggled on the road with only two victories conceding twice as many as they've scored if QPR can win here, it could be a slaughter. 3-1 QPR. Cardiff hosts Knox Forest Tuesday night. Both are in similar current form with one win apiece from their last four. Cardiff have failed to find the killer blow in their last five at home, drawing all five. It's been a decade though since Forest have won here and have, and have been struggling on the road of late. Cardiff 2-1. You can still grab yourself 29 tickets for next season's draw to get your entry fee refunded. You'll both get 29 tickets for adding people to the Facebook group. Click the link in the description below. 29 for sharing this video or 29 for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Rusty's Roundup. Thanks for watching. Hashtag, I didn't forget Jeff. 